So what does your promise look like to your marketplace? You've got a product, you've got a service, and you've got a marketplace that you're looking to serve. So therefore, how is it you're communicating to them and what is it you're communicating? Because behind every promise, we need to have a process. A good example of that from here in the UK is Premier Inn, which is a lower budget hotel chain. And what their promise to the marketplace was, was a good night's sleep guaranteed. Of course, the objection or the potential objection that the market may well have been thinking about, which prevents them from going to that particular chain was, well, it's a lower budget hotel chain. Might I not get as good a sleep as if I went to something a little bit more upmarket? So by putting in the promise, it takes away that fear. So that's good from the marketplace point of view, but what about the delivery of that? Well, of course, the team then had to be trained sufficiently well on exactly how do you handle the customer uh, complaints that may come? How do you give them the, 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 the range of things that allowed them to have the kind of, of good night's sleep that they were looking for? Of course, the promise only really came after millions of pounds worth of investment, getting the hotels up to spec, making sure that the bedrooms were well kitted out with the right duvets, with the right pillows, etc. So don't be fearful of making a promise, a strong and bold promise to your marketplace, but do make sure that you've got a process to back up the delivery of that promise. And if you get the two right, then you're laughing.